Hello and welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for Aries. I'm Julia Mijas. And I'm Jamie Kale Miller. Well, hey, Aries. I want to talk about career and finance first. Mars begins the month in his own sign of Aries, which is your sign because Mars is your ruler. This gives you so much energy and drive and sense of direction. It really amps up your force of will and your decisiveness and your ability to act on what you want. Uh, it's been going on since last month, so you may have been feeling this way for a little while, several weeks, and it's just such a good feeling. I thought I'd tell you about it. There's also a lot of sort of, you might say, like nervous energy, which is to say lots of planets in Gemini this month. Jupiter has moved in there. Mercury will be in there. Venus and the sun as well. And that's filling up your third house, which is a house of learning and thinking and reasoning and information processing and communication. So you may find yourself really caught up with those kinds of activities maybe doing a lot of errands and, you know, kind of running around town, getting stuff done, communicating with neighbors and, and siblings. But I want to, I want to zone in on June 14th, which is when greater epiphany day is. That's when the sun and Mercury form a conjunction while Mercury is direct and fast. That is going to be such a peak of efficiency. So if you are a writer that would be a really good time to plan, you know, to get a bunch of writing done for your career, for your work. And if you, if you just, you know, need to think and, and plan and figure stuff out, it's a really good time for offices to be running smoothly, logistics to go well, and, and ideas to be communicated pretty clearly. So definitely take advantage of that. Mars is going to leave your first house and stop giving you, you know, all that crazy energy and drive around June 9th and move into your second house of money. And so that's a really good time to bend your considerable energies towards finances instead for the rest of the month and bring, you know, some improvement in that arena. Ceres, which is the goddess of wealth building, has been traveling in Capricorn and in your 10th house and has turned retrograde since last month, late last month. So figuring out how to manifest abundance in a better way in your career is very much on your mind and will be until late August. And this is going to be a time, it's a four-month period while Sirius is retrograde, for you to handle any money mismanagement that may have been going on your, in your career or your place of work or a business that you run. And Ceres is going to be retrograde until late August. So there's plenty of time for problems to emerge and also get figured out. Uh, then towards the end of the month, planets will be moving out of Gemini and over into Cancer, which is your fourth house. That's going to bring a lot of your energy and attention to your home life and pull you away from work. And, and you'll find that you really want to do some nesting and you want to do some introverting. And then the full moon in Capricorn <clears throat> coming along on June 21st is, is going to bring you into more of a balance across that axis of home versus career. Hey, Julia, what's up with relationships for all the Aries people out there? Yes, well, Aries, you are having the south node of the moon traveling through your seventh house of relationship for the rest of the year. And when the south node goes somewhere in our chart, it's about letting go of something. So the way I look at this is this is a time of letting go of any people-pleasing habits and anything that's kept you listening to bad advice. The seventh house rules contractors too. So some doctor or lawyer or someone has been giving you bad advice, maybe it's time just to say goodbye. Now, your third house of communication is really full and busy. We got a lot of planets going on there at the beginning of the month. So this is really going to add a little zest to your social life. You know, this represents your local community, your neighborhood. You might be out and about and enjoying the town. There's going to be a new moon happening in this house, which also involves Venus in there. New moons bring new beginnings, new contacts, maybe, maybe a lot of like great conversations. Maybe this is a new project that you're working on writing with this new moon that's 
that's happening. Now on June 4th, Venus conjoins the sun in Gemini and she is going at maximum speed. So we call that relationship rapture day. It is a time of clarity. The, con the sun represents your consciousness and Venus re represents relationships. So this is really the closing of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. You know, when Venus goes retrograde, which doesn't happen all the time, not as frequently as Mercury going retrograde, but it can be a time of having to sort of review your relationship, putting it under the spotlight. But when Venus is direct and clear and can join the sun, this is a new chapter which is opening. So it definitely is a lot easier. And as the month is drawing to a close, Venus is going to shift into the fourth house on June 21st, and you're going to be loving your home. You're going to be really getting along with your family members or the people that you live with during the cycle. Find our site at PandoraAstrology.com to get a reading with one of us and find us on Patreon for workshops and classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.